I'm sitting here talking with Chris Herrera, uh, classical pianist, uh, talking about his uh, new CD called Enter the Twilight. But uh, if not more important than that, Chris is the subject of a brand new film out called Composed. It's a documentary uh, summarizing Chris's life uh, in, in music and uh, gee whiz, uh, this is exciting and I, I hope it's something people will be able to uh, buy, uh, buy the film, go see the film. Somehow. Well, we are we are being screened. We've been screened. Our world premiere was on Monday. Okay. Um, went over well. I I was we we were just floored by the reception we got. We had over three hundred people that came to the first screening. Um, uh, it was it, it almost threw me back because um, when we were called up for a a Q and A after the film, we got two standing ovations. Awesome. And it was just it was just so heartfelt because people are after seeing my um, our film, people really got the message. And the message of the film is you. It does not matter who we are. You know, we were not picked to be in this world. We were, you know, you, when you're born, you just don't pick yourself like one day go, I think I want to be born today. We just appear here. We don't pick the body that we have. We don't pick of who we are. We have to then develop who we are and make the best of it. And you go for all of your dreams. And you never let anybody, I am a firm believer, is you don't let anybody else stop your dream. If you let you if you let other people influence your dream and you don't accomplish your dream, you have no one else to blame but yourself. You are you should be in total control of what you want to go in life. Exactly. Now, I, I hear uh, from you know from many people who uh, you know are in tune with the spiritual end of things that uh, how this happens, I ha I have no conception that we we choose our parents. Which is, you know, who's to say whether it's good, bad, or indifferent? Uh, you obviously chose good parents. You had the support of your parents growing up. Oh, I'm very, very, very lucky about my parents. My parents are are instrumental to everything I do. Um, they just if my parents made me. If um, you know, it's you always hear that whole thing of saying. You know, um, your upbringing, the way you were brought up, your influences, your, your surroundings, the people you hang out with when you grow up are the instrumental people of who make who makes you when you become an adult, a man, a woman, anything. And my parents were instrumental because they never said no. They never said I could not do anything. Um, even with being a dwarf, they never said, oh, you can't do that because you're, you, you can't do that. They always said, if you want to, find a way to do it, and do it well. Oh, wow. That's powerful stuff. And, and the thing is, a lot of people don't seem to realize, uh, and unfortunately a lot of people go through life not getting it, but you, ha you have to concentrate on the fact that even though you, in, in our lifetime you may never ever know or understand why you were here in the first place, but you have to consider the fact that each and every person is unique in their own way. I agree with Nobody you. in this world can do what you do as well as you do. People may try to imitate you or copy you, but they're not you. Exactly. I agree with that 100%. Um, people, I, I feel people need to find their own identity. Right. You know, and I feel that a lot of people in this world sometimes will go around and I see a lot of people that survive day to day but never live exactly. and there's a difference between that when you live life that means you're living your life you're going for your dreams you're experiencing life to the fullest and getting the benefit out of life people who just live or survive are just going through the motions almost almost aimlessly like a zombie I live to the day I gotta go tomorrow I gotta go to tomorrow there's no goals there's no ambition it's a lot like a flatlined existence I agree yes exactly and us as humans and humanity alone and I feel that that that, that just that's only a quarter of who we are we are you know with the talents that everybody I believe everyone has a talent 
It's up to us to find the talent that we have. I get very upset when somebody goes, I'm not talented, I don't know what I want to do. And you know what it is? Is You don't have enough time to just sit down and reflect on yourself and say, why am I here? What is my place in this world? And I know, and it's taken me a long, it's taken me a while, you know, it's, it's called maturity. And I know now why I'm on this world or what my place is here. And my place is to change people's perceptions of people with disabilities. Is that we are, we are very, we are good, we have good contributions to society. Right. We're not people that should be shunned, put in a corner, or in a house, or in a room, and then just let there to survive. We can be very avid players in society, we can be benefits to society, and we can also change the way people think. And that's why I feel very strongly why I'm here and my place in this world here is to change people, not making them change, but show them through my music and through the way I am that anything can happen. Anything in life can happen. If you don't take a risk in life, the rewards, the rewards are very, very, you know, the, you don't get the, 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 the greatest rewards require the biggest risks. That's right. That's right. I like to say, no, no pain, no gain. Exactly, I agree. But uh, I mean, my, myself, uh, I went through many years of thinking, is this all there there is? But the whole time is, I've been a musician all my life, mm -hmm. and while being a musician, wondering, is this all there is? Uh, isn't there? You know, why am I here? Exactly. And sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. Why you're here could be staring you right in the face. Exactly. But if you walk down the street with blinders on, you don't get to see the world. You only see in front of you. I always tell people, you know, don't worry about what's behind you. Don't look in the past. If you keep walking down the street with your head always turned around over your back, sooner or later you're going to walk into a wall. Because you're not in front. I'm a person that always keeps my head forward. Because that's the new things that are approaching me. And how I want to interact with the new things that are coming with me. The things that are behind my back are already gone. Are already done. And they, the, the past motivates me to move to the future. The future is wide open. If you live in the past, then I, I believe that then those are people that just live with blinders on. And I just feel that that you're only living life at 50%. Right. Like I, like I try to tell people, if you want to get ahead, look ahead. If you're going to live in the past, you're going to fall back. I agree with you. I agree with you. And, um, you know, that's really, um, you know, when, we, when I finished my album, you know, I mean, I just let it go. I let, I, you know, I let my artwork go. Um, I, I, you know, I didn't have the attitude going, oh my goodness, everybody in the world's going to love me and everybody's going to love this album and I'm just going to be the best thing in the world. No, I let it out and I said, you know, I wrote this, this music because it's music I want to hear. It's music that I don't hear today. So it's my place to provide this kind of music that I personally wouldn't, I would love to listen to. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that have the same similarities and would find a lot of joy in this album, you know, that I have created. And um, I believe that, you know, you just, I don't like copying anybody. I don't follow anything. Good. I'm a, I, I lead the way. I'm more of for somebody that likes to pave the way instead of walking over the street that's already been paved. Right. I bet you're, you're, you are your own worst critic as well. I'm very hard on myself. I am very, very hard. I critique myself probably ten times harder than anybody else. But that's just because the music is me. It's my heart. It's my soul. So when I'm producing or con writing and composing, it's my, it's my exact life. Right. And so I, I, you know, but there's a point to where you just got to say, let it go. Right. See what the world thinks. Now, Chris, you have uh, a website. Yes. Um, my albums are on sale um, on my website. My website is chrisarrera.com. So that's like C-H-R-I-S-E-R-R-E-R-A.com. That's Chris Arrera. And his latest CD is Enter the Twilight. And we're here at the 17th Annual Sedona International Film Festival uh, to help uh, support and promote Chris's film documentary called Composed. 
documentary. It's it's the choices you make that define you. Chris, I, I can't thank you enough for joining me. Kit, it was uh, a wonderful thing. If I may just add at the very sh- end is... Oh, please do. Um, on my website, um, any of the a part of the proceeds of all the albums sold, I donate. My charity is Shriners Hospital, Great. and and that's very dear to me because I used to be a patient of Shriners Hospital when I was very very young, and so there's a very big connection with that, and I feel a dedication to them because they helped me out so much in the very beginning and really you know got me in the direction of the medical care that I needed at the very young age. I've had 17 surgeries in my life, so they were very instrumental, and I have, I feel that you give back. I'm a big person about karma. You do good things to people, good things come back to you. And so I really, I felt in my heart that, you know, my album, my album is out there to change the world. There's to change people's perception of what people with disabilities really can do and how they really can be a positive in society, never a negative. And so any, you know, anyone that will per- would be uh, happy to purchase my album proceeds do go to help support that wonderful cause and that wonderful hospital. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Chris Herrera, uh, his new film, Composed, and uh, he scored the, all the music in the film. His latest CD is Enter the Twilight. Chris Herrera, remember that name. You're going to hear it for days weeks, months, years ahead. Thank you so much, Chris. Kit, it was a wonderful pleasure. It was a wonderful pleasure meeting you, and I've had a blast, and thank you so much for your time. It's very cool.